Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today uh, to check in on our new um, tray in the Worm Factory. Excuse me. Um, so we started this new tray last week, put our banana burrito in it, some watermelon, coffee, all of that good stuff. And I see the springtails have moved up with our worms, which is fine. They honestly just annoy me. They're obviously not hurtful at all, but just a, a pain to look at. They ruin the purity of looking at worm balls. You guys know I just like saying balls. But I'm not seeing any signs of food left in here which is good but I think I need to get a little something extra in here for these guys or else they're gonna move back down on me but yeah no matter how much I turn it up I'm not seeing any pieces of food so let me see if I can grab a little something for these guys and we can feed them up so here's a quick peek of the tray below that we are letting finish up I just was curious to see how many worms were still hanging out and what type of progress they were making. And there's still a good number of these guys, but it's incredible how quickly they finish things up. And again, this is the only other tray I have in here right now. I'm trying to minimize the number of trays I have running, but um, looks really nice. I added, you know, those extra worms from the harvest. So. Anyway, just thought I'd peek in here and turn it up a little bit. Always helps to keep the castings flaky if you periodically fluff up your bins. So, now let me grab that food. Okay guys, so I don't always remember to thaw my food so I couldn't find anything. So I pulled out some food that's still frozen so I'm gonna lay it down on plenty of shredded paper so that it won't bother them until it falls out. So, pro tip, uh, steal the circulars from your grocery store on the way out. Make excellent shredded bedding. Okay, let me show you what I have. I'm first going to put a little bit of my crushed eggshell down over the whole surface here and have a bag here with some frozen ears of corn that we had at dinner the other night and corn cobs take a really long time to break down but the worms love laying cocoons uh, in the little pockets worm fell on the floor so I'm gonna um, give them this as well as some coffee grounds Okay, so these are nasty coffee grounds and some tea bags that have been in a tin in here I forgot about. So they definitely have some funky smell going on with them, but um, I think this should be plenty for them. I'm going to put the lid back on here and we will come back next week and see how they're getting along and if we have some more worms moving up. So I hope you guys have a great night. Drop your comments below, like this video, and subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I will talk to you guys soon.